everybody. As you know, we have been seeing lots of videos about snowballs who that are apparently made of plastic that are being polluted in our sky by, uh, let's see, people, the government spraying chemicals in our sky, um, that our snow is made of plastic, um, and this big conspiracy about it all. Well, I'm here to prove you wrong. Here is a snowball. I just got it out uh, from outside, freshly packed, and we're going to show you something. Okay, Anna, go ahead and light it on the top. Well, our fire is burning out, so. <laughs> now, the whole thing about why it's not melting is a very simple thing. Number one, you're heating it very quickly, um, and that is causing it to turn into a gas while some that is melting is going into the little pores of the snow and it's refreezing where it's colder in the snowball. Um, then uh, as far as like right now, you don't see any dark black spots on top, do you? Well, that's because watch what we do. Now we're going to burn it on the bottom, okay? And when you burn it on the bottom, just like when you turn a candle to the side so you can reach the wick, um, then you start to develop soot. Okay? That's from the carbon. The smell is the smell of the butane and the soot together. Oops. Um, which, which, you know, this is all carbon. It is not plastic or anything else like that. It is not chemicals, it is carbon that you are seeing, I'm sorry, on the snowball. That's it. Do it to your candle, do it to a piece of glass. You'll see the same black soot on there too. So anyway, um, and that's because carbon is getting on there because it's from an incomplete combustion. So, anyway, um, there, there it is. You guys are busted. And you'd really need to pay attention to science teachers and biology teachers and whatnot. My son went to biology class and they did this experiment in the class and got me that information. So make sure you do your research. <laughs> Don't believe everything you see, okay? All right, lesson learned. Talk to you later.